So I built the rest of my barber homepage in about an hour and a half. I honestly thought it was going to take a little bit longer, but let's go see what I ended up doing. And it finally looks like something that I would actually book from. I cleaned up the colors, I fixed the positioning on the words, the buttons, and the images. This is the first time that the website actually feels real. I wanted to fix was the slogan. It wasn't bad before, but it just didn't hit. I kept changing the wording until I got it to feel clean, confident, and simple. Took a few tweaks and then boom, it clicked. That's the line. Sharp cuts in real style. What a great slogan for this website. Next, I needed a five-star rating graphic. I wanted something bold, but still professional. So I hit Google and searched around for one that would fit the vibe. I dropped the image in and immediately ran into a wall. The star image was massive. I tried resizing it with width and height in CSS, but it kept pushing my layout around. Nothing was lining up. At one point, I thought I broke the whole entire thing. After some trial and error, I finally got the dimensions right. I ended up using max width with display block to keep it responsive and adjusted the container spacing until it actually fit clean and way better. Now, I was coming back to the slogan because I wanted it to be placed a little bit more to the center but a bit to the left of the image. So, I decided to play around with margin and padding which did not end up working so eventually it led me to position relative and I began to use top, right, left, bottom, whichever one I ended up using and finally got it exactly where I wanted it to be. After that, I realized I never changed the font family, which I wanted to change to sans serif. And when I ended up doing this, you guys will see in a bit, the screen ended up actually changing a bit. Things got a bit bigger. And then my words for my slogan, they ended up coming close together. So I had to end up changing the size on the words to make sure the words came out the way that I wanted it to. You know, just a bunch of trial and error, a bunch of random numbers, just trying to figure out this was the way to go. Now, I ended up having the same issue with the star rating where I needed to use position relative to end up moving it. But instead, of course, I decided to go the other routes, trying margin, padding top. Nothing was really working, so I had to go back to position relative, copy and paste it, and ended up eventually getting the star logo to be exactly where I needed to be, which was positioned right under the slogan. But it wasn't easy because I had to end up changing the numbers around, so a bunch of trial and error to try and just get it right under where i needed it to be which eventually i got it there so glory to god i put the review text into a p element so i basically had to do the exact same thing again to that and guess what i had to do the same thing to the button i learned from my mistakes and i wasn't doing margin and padding i immediately hopped into position relative just copy and pasting and then having to switch the numbers around with a bunch of trial and error if you guys know any tips to know exactly what type of numbers you need to make sure you can get it to where you need it to be thank you so much you can comment them down below but if it's just a trial and error all the time then i guess i'm on the right path of being a web developer so as you can see i'm still currently struggling it's like in between my stars i'm trying to get it exactly to the right of it boom i go a little bit way too damn far so I had to end up coming back a bit. Now I'm too close again. And so look at my neck. I'm I'm literally strained. I'm, I'm, I'm stressed. I'm trying to figure out what this is. Going through it to just get the right number. And eventually we do end up getting the right number. We end up lining up review text. And everything was great. And it looked so beautiful. Now it came down to getting this button there. Now getting it into position was kind of easier. Because we just did it seven times basically up there. But this one took a bit longer because I didn't want it to be just a basic rectangle. I wanted it to have a little bit of curve, like a pill-like shape. I needed to get rid of the border, make sure the border radius was looking nice. At first, it looked super flat and plain, so I added some padding. I rounded some corners and then ended up changing the height because, as you can see currently right now, it's just a skinny, long line. So I had to change the height and change the width a little bit just to make sure that it looked right. I had to change the text color, change the color of the actual button. It was just insane. So finally, I hovered over it and I gave it a hover and a transition so it feels smooth when you actually interact with the button. And I was still messing around with the spacing because I wanted to make sure that it was placed perfectly under the text. Too far, it felt disconnected. Too close, it felt cramped. So it took a few tries adjusting the spacing around it until the whole thing felt balanced. But finally, I got the button to look exactly the way I wanted it to. And just like that, it was done. The slogan hit, the stars sat right, the reviews looked legit, and the button felt clean and clickable. Simple layout, but everything had a purpose. The hero section was finally locked in. So next up comes the services page. But for now, the homepage is locked in. Subscribe if you are building your own webpage and plan on becoming a freelance web developer in your near future. 
see you all later.